Yes! This is our 12th and final week in, in our summer of bottoming. An entire summer spent watching films listed in the IMDb Bottom 100. And let me just say that this summer can kiss my sweaty brown ass because it has been a summer of pain. Nothing but pain. And so to say goodbye to this summer of shitty movies, I'm going to, to, to go through the list of the 12 movies that we saw this summer and take a little bit of time to talk about our feelings regarding the movies we have seen. Just quick, some quick takes. A look back at our summer. Are you ready, Bunny? Yes. We will also be talking about uh, the numbers. Like, from, from number 50 down, most of those numbers have stayed the same. But when it comes to 50 and up, like 55, 67, 86, 99, a lot of those change rapidly, and there are uh, there's there's movies that aren't even on the list anymore. Yes, there's, there's one movie that isn't even on the list anymore. So anyway, let's go through the twelve movies we have seen this summer. The first movie that we saw was number one hundred, swept away. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. It's funny because out of all the movies that we saw. I would list, like, the top three worst ones as, yeah, the worst one, Disaster Movie. The second worst one, Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2. And then the third worst film would be number 100, Madonna Swept Away. Yeah. It's a really horrible movie, offensive movie. The thing that I hate the most about it was that it was written and directed by Guy Ritchie. I fucking love The Gentleman. Yeah. What? Damn, that's a fun movie, Fletcher. You well, Fletcher. it's just the whole premise of that fucking movie. The whole premise that y you will eventually be able to fall in love with a highly abusive man, most likely after the rape. Yeah. That... That's why I didn't go see that film with Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Pat passages. Yes, I didn't see that movie because the whole thing creeped me out. They're like, oh, you're going to be in stasis for a thousand years, for like a hundred years. But, oh no, Chris Pratt accidentally woke up like ten years into the hundred year mission or whatever the fuck. So now he's basically doomed to die, but he's lonely. So he's going to wake up someone and be like, what? We both woke up at the same time? That's crazy. Let's be friends. I love you. And it's like, okay, that's creepy. Yeah. And just because it's Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence doesn't make it any better than Madonna and some Italian guy I don't know. Beppe. That's my yeah. dad's nickname. Uh, it, so that was number 100. It's not even on the list anymore. Oh my god, no, it deserves to be on the list. It is fucking It absolutely horrible. does. It absolutely does. The second movie we saw was number 92 on the list. It is gone. It is, it's now number 96. It was 92. Now it's 96. Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li, a 2009 movie starring a sex cult member. That was a great episode of the podcast because I got to talk at length about the sex cult. It wasn't a good episode because of the movie because they decided to make a, a, a kung fu movie and then try as hard as they could to not have any kung fu in it. The thing about the list in general, in the, the beginning half of the list, I mean, we started off with the Madonna movie and the Madonna movie was fucking horrible. I hated everything about it. I was offended by it. Thought it was sending out a shit message to just humans in general about relations and what relationships should be like. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the next, like, three, four, maybe even five movies that were like... They weren't particularly bad. They were just really fucking boring. 
There's like nothing to even yeah. say about them because they were just meh. Yeah, I understand. I I feel that. I feel that. And that starts with Street Fighter. It, it, yeah, it was meh. It wasn't as bad as Madonna, but yeah. it wasn't that good either. Yeah. So like, like third... this movie, it won't hurt you. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. All it will do is... is it, it, it's like helium, except that helium is fun. You know? You breathe it in, yeah. you talk funny, but you are not damaged in any way by it. Yeah. Street Fighter is like that, except not fun. Yeah. It, it, yeah, and it, that will also go well with the third movie we saw, which was number 86. Now it's number 89. Dungeons and Dragons, a year 2000 movie starring Jeremy Irons and very little else. Uh, yeah. Eh? Eh? It's, it, uh, yeah. It, it felt like a sci-fi original. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's just it's just meh. It is there's nothing yeah. particularly wrong about it except that it's just intensely boring. It felt like a direct to DVD movie. Although I still get a look I get a kick out of the the lead guy in that movie and seeing like you can literally look at him and see every actor they wanted in the role besides him. I felt that he was a real big throwback. Like, once I saw the star of Dungeons & Dragons, I was like, didn't you star in Catalina Caper? <laughs> I'm pretty was sure that like, was you. I, I just looked at him and was like, ah, oh, okay. Jason Bateman said no, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the fourth movie we saw, uh, it was number 84, now it's number 86. The Wicker Man... No, not the original. That one is good. We're talking a 2006 film starring Nicolas Cage and some bees. Oh, yes, and I always had a crush on Lily Sobieski. Always had a crush on her. She yeah. was also in this a lot. I like the, I like the original because a lot of that has to do with, I am a devout Christian. What is this pagan rituals? You don't believe in Jesus, but this movie is just Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage. Yeah. It doesn't have the the like religious thing. The director was very very successful in removing everything that was good about the original movie in this remake. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of people when they saw the movie Midsommar said, "Oh, so it's just The Wicker Man." And I, it, no, it's first, not just the Wicker Man. That's fucking stupid. Yes, and, and and I agree with you, Bunny. But I will say that at Alton Towers Theme Park in England, there is a Wicker Man wooden roller coaster. And while you're riding in the roller coaster, you go through a giant m wooden man on fire. You go through the Wicker Man, and then. The line just is the line to go to the roller coaster. You're going through the woods, and there are pagan like like stones with pagan images and runes carved into them. And you hear noises in the woods. There are speakers hidden <coughs> that whisper things to you. And I, I'm not saying that Midsommar is just the Wicker Man. I am saying though that you could easily get the Wicker Man roller coaster and turn it into a Midsommar roller coaster. Yeah. That was my big takeaway from the Wicker Man movie. Well, uh, they're, the same, they're the same genre. Uh, <clears throat> genre pretty much of two movies. You yeah. know? Yeah. There are others if we wanted to look, but... That's it. You know, they're are no other real similarities unless you want to be just really fucking basic about it. Yeah. Okay. So that was number the four. Societies, the two societies were very different from each other. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
Number five on the list, the fifth movie we saw, uh, Spice World, a 1998 movie starring the Spice Girls. Yes. I mean, this is this movie is fine. This movie is fine. It's of yeah. its time. It's very British. It's very much for young fans of the Spice Girls. So, like, it's fine. I don't think it's outright bad. It's just not, not for me. Okay, so so I'm, I'm going to give this one just a big meh, but I am going to take everything you've just said about it and apply it just directly over to the next movie. Because that's how I feel about the next one. Okay. Number six is Breath. There you go. A 2007 film starring nobody and also John Voight. And as we now know, his goddaughter <coughs> that he works into all of his shit. Poor yes. girl was also in Super Babies, Baby Geniuses too. That's when we broke the story that her entire uh, acting career is based on his uh, godfather, John Voight. So, the, so, uh, so yeah, this movie, I feel like the Bratz movie was shit. I'd also oh, like it was, to think... It was shit, don't get me wrong. Yeah. These oh. were all shit. Let's just, let's just... Yeah. Start there shit. and, and they work were, on forward. They were all shit. Yeah. Um, I would like to take this time to say that numerous times throughout this summer, there are movies that I wanted to do, but I decided to have people on Twitter vote on which movies we do instead of going with my gut instinct. So, so there are times when it's like, oh, man, we're going to be doing an ooey bowl film. Shit. They're making us watch Bratz? <laughs> Fucking fine. Oh, man. If we do the Human Centipede 3, that's going to be pretty shit. Spice World? Fuck. So, <laughs> speaking of things other people voted on, number seven, Slender Man. Yes. A 2008 film starring Julia Goldani Tellis whom I love, but not in this. It was number 47 on the list. I'm not even sure what number it was, or even if it's still on the list. I I don't know. But For this one, for this one, I really want to hunt down and punch the lighting guy. The way that I... Most of this movie, I flat out literally could not see. Yeah, this was... It was a dark ass movie. And if this they was a did dark not, ass movie. If they did not continually scream their names at each other, I wouldn't have known who was in the scene. Yeah. Yeah. It This movie is chloroform cuz I saw it 3 times and I couldn't tell you a thing about it. <coughs> couldn't yeah. tell you a thing at all. This is the roofie of movies. Yes. It, it, that's what it is. I, I don't fucking understand. Okay, number eight. Now this one was fun. Num the eighth film we saw this summer, the 2000 film Battlefield Earth, starring John Travolta and uh, Forrest Whitaker's Lazy Eye. It was and still is number 20 on IMDb's bottom 100. And I am a big fan of this film only because the studio that made it ripped off the Church of Scientology. Which, which is, is something nice. I can get behind. When, when I had the idea to do a deep dive into the IMDb's bottom 100, I thought that we'd be watching all of these bad movies and having a fun time like The Room and Manos the Hands of Fate and uh, fucking Birdemic and that they'd all be fun, but most of these sucked, but Battlefield Earth was one of those ones that that was a fun suck. Yes. It's shit, but at least it's shit you can laugh at. Slender Man just makes me want to jump off of a building. Yes. 
but Battlefield Earth was fun. The ninth film we saw, Alone in the Dark, a 2005 Huey Bull film, sadly starring Christian Slater, was and still is number 19 on the list. Yes. Bunny, your thoughts? Uh, if you're a really big fan of Constantine, I would recommend keeping far away from this movie because <laughs> it'll make you it, it'll make you angry to the point of being psychotic. Good, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. What was that number nine? Okay, number ten. Ah. Big believer of this film, the tenth film we saw this summer, Birdemic Shock and Terror, a 2010 film starring Clothes Hangers. It was and still is number six on the list of the 100 worst movies. Big fan of this film. Big fan. Unlike this week's movie, which was made by two fucking horrible douchebags, you can tell that the maker of Birdemic, like Ed Wood, like Tommy Wiseau, like... You tried. Your heart was in the right place. Fucking... I find this movie to be adorable. It was, like... And especially in talking in comparison to all the other movies that we've watched. Birdemic... Birdemic's biggest flaw is being completely amateurish in every aspect of the movie. And in light of the other movies, that is actually a very big compliment I am paying it. Yeah. There there is like all of the pieces were together. They they actually tried to find out how do we make a movie? And they had all of the elements collected. They had them all in place they had no idea how to put those pieces together at all at At all all. so everything was everything was basically a bad first draft I would rather watch a a movie second draft it probably would have been a better movie a third yeah. draft, it might have been a watchable movie. You know? Yeah. I I would rather watch a movie made by one person for $500,000 and that one person thinks it's going to be a super successful movie. I'd rather watch that than watch a Battlefield Earth with an 80 with a 100 million dollar budget and an entire studio of people who think it's going to be a big success yeah you know so in many ways Birdemic is more of a success than say a Dungeons and Dragons or a Street Fighter So, so, so you prefer one person's delusion to a mass people uh a large group of persons mass hallucination. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking of a massive group of people's mass hallucinations, the 11th movie we saw was Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2, a 2004 film starring a surprising pitch hitter this summer, John Voight. Yes. Uh, Number two, worst movie of all time. It was number one for a few years until this week's movie knocked it out of the number one position. This week's film, Disaster Movie, a 2008 film that can rot in hell. Yes. I thought it was funny! You shut your mouth! I (laughs) thought it was funny! I even snorted! homophobic, transphobic crap, it was Edgelord the movie. It's like an entire movie made of Reddit comments. So, so just so you know, 
what I'm having to deal with here. It was funny. <laughs> it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a difficult episode, but that has been our summer. 12 weeks, 12 bad movies. Out of all of these movies, Bunny, which was your favorite? Which was my favorite? Yeah. Or your least favorite. Yeah, in what regard? I, I need this fleshed out a little for me. Like, Okay, okay, like, okay. Out of all of these 12 movies, which one did you hate the least? Which one would I would I most likely watch again, possibly? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I gotta say, uh, Birdenic or the Wicker Man, for me, those are ones that I would definitely see more than once. I don't know about you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I I'm just gonna crib off of you. Yeah. yeah. Uh... And I would also like to take this time to once again lay blame on whose fault it is that we did this entire summer of bad movies. And no, it wasn't my fault for coming up with the idea in the first place. It was Tim Curry's fault for stubbornly refusing to die. Yes, this is true. Because last summer, right before the, the summer started, at Character actor Fred Willard died. So last summer, oh, the summer of 2020. Sure, we were all locked in our houses, but oh, Bunny and I were having a grand old time watching the, 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 the films of Fred Willard, laughing, having a blast. It was a whole bunch of fun. So this summer, I said, I've got a great idea. I've got a bad idea to watch bad movies, but hey, Tim Curry's not looking too good. Maybe he'll die right before the summer. Can you imagine a summer of Tim Curry movies? Holy shit! Yeah. That'd be fucking wonderful. But it's sadly, uh, Tim Curry is still alive, which is really depressing. Hopefully, he will stay alive until uh, April 2022. Yes. So hang in there, Tim. We're all counting on you. I'd like to take this time to say that one of the last things that Fred Willard ever did was an adorable skit in the greatest TV show of all time, I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson. He was, a <laughs> organ. he was an organist in a wonderful skit. Bunny, I promise that whatever we do next summer, oh, we're going to make it fun. I was thinking maybe Universal Monsters or maybe we can finally get to the fucking Fast and the Furious movies. But whatever we do next summer, I promise it's actually going to be fun and watchable. Okay. <laughs> so, next summer, we're going to make up for this summer. This <coughs> summer was punishment for the fun we had last summer. Yes. So, we're, we're doing this thing now where it's like, hey, fun, hey, bad, hey, fun, hey, bad. So, next summer, whatever it is we're going to do, it's going to be a blast. So, uh, so there you go. That's the wrap-up of this summer. And cut on that. <laughs>